Hello everyone, True here, back with another video. I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Colossal VMAX. Now this card um, was pretty hyped up uh, before Vivid Voltage came out. Um, being fighting types great, you uh, hit Picaron for weakness, you hit, you hit Eternatus for weakness, um, 330 HP, pretty bulky. Um, and yeah, this card was pretty much hype. Um, this card hasn't really done terribly well, um, but hasn't done terribly bad at recent tournaments online. I'm sure you guys have seen all over YouTube that a Col Colossal VMAX won like a 190 plus players uh, tournament. So definitely a, a good deck. Um, is it as good as ADPZ? Probably not, but it's certainly a contender in the meta and definitely interested interested to see how it adapts as future sets come out. Now, if you don't know what Colossal VMAX does, the general idea behind the deck is to use Eruption Shot, um, pr preferably turn to um, discard the top card of your deck. If that card is an energy card, this attack does 90 more damage and attach that card to this Pokemon. So um, basically... Uh, we combine this with Orangaroo. Um, if we have a Fighting Energy in our hand, we can put that on top of our deck, use Eruption Shot, and hit 130 damage for one energy. Um, that is pretty good, 130 damage for one energy. Definitely not complaining about that, and the ability to um, self-charge itself is very nice as well. So normally, um, you would go first, um, attach to Colossal V, pass, attach to Colossal V again, use Eruption Shot, and then um, set up that turn to G-Max Boulder. Um, that's uh, normally what you want in this build that you see in front of you is my um, is my personal build. Um, I went for hyper consistency, four com, four quick ball, four rotom phone, um, two the Dene, one crobat, and something to note is the four bosses orders. I do think four bosses orders is really good in this deck. Um, you really do want to gus up those crobats and the Denes to get ahead on that price trade, and um, yeah, just playing four boss has felt super nice. Um, yeah, four bosses just super good for the late game and the early game if you get set up well enough. Um, we play four Marnie, four Research, pretty straightforward. Um, and we play uh, we play four four line of Colossal V Colossal V Max again, just trying to maximize that consistency along with three Orangaroo. We play one Galarian Surfetched V. Um, I haven't been the biggest fan of this card to be honest, but again, it is our only answer to Zamazenta V if we want a fighting chance against Luke Metal um, and just being able to finish a on paper, um, you can hit with Eruption Shot um, and then go in with Meteor Smash, which is pretty cool as well. Um, so if your Colossal Max gets hit by something, you can always go in with Galarian Surfeit Speed, which is like an additional 210 um, HP hitter, which is cool. Um, we play one Elder Goss V to recover again uh, bosses, Marnie, research, stuff like that whenever we need to. Four Pokecom, four Quick Ball, pretty straightforward. Four Switch. Um, definitely want as much mobility as possible and I've also added three air balloons now I do think you can cut an air balloon for something else like maybe a stamp I guess or fighting dojo um, or a martial arts dojo I should say um, or something like that but I've, I've went with three air balloons because I want as much pivoting as possible um, something that can hinder this deck is starting with like a Rangaroo in the active and, and not being able to find switch so I do like playing the seven switching options in this deck and um, we also play 13 energies, 4 stone fighting energies, and 9 fighting energies. Um, no capture energy in here. I don't really um, I don't really like capture energy in this deck for some reason. Just hasn't felt the greatest and I've liked going with um, with all fighting energies. So that's what I've gone for in this build. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say for the deck. And uh, let's hop into some games. Alright, so hopping into our first game here against Hen Dog 97 um good luck to him or her Our opponent's gonna call the coin flip here let's see uh we do lose the coin flip so we'll probably be going second here unless our opponent's playing something like a water deck or an evolution deck then they might opt for us to go first let's see what our opponent um chooses they're taking their time we are going second which is definitely a little unfortunate you hate to see it and, uh, the starting hands looking not so great whatsoever Getting rid of three fighting energies turn one, definitely not ideal. Um, but we do have an air balloon, so we can attach active, I guess. I don't know if we should play the Rotom Phone or not, because um, I because no matter what, we're going to draw into that card anyway, so we might as well just research, right, I think. Um, our opponent starts with the Bunnelby, so we are up against Mad Party. Alright, just a pass. 
I don't think there's any way we can donk our opponent. Um, I think. I don't want to get rid of this many energy, so I'm going to play the Rotom Phone now, see if what we can get. Um, nothing too great, to be quite honest. I think I'll grab the Quick Ball and just research now, um, knowing that we don't have a great top deck to work with. I was thinking like we could um, possibly hold onto this hand and like top deck um, a Colossal VMAX, and we can still do that. Um, I don't like getting rid of two fighting energies, but uh, I think we're going to have to go for it here. Um, I don't think there's any way for us to donk our opponent, unfortunately. It would have been super nice, but uh, this is what it is. Going to go with the research here to see more cards overall, I suppose. And um, some more fighting energies to work with. Uh, going to quick ball away a Marnie here. I'm going to go for a Guru, I think. Um, and we did prize two Gurus. All right. Um, good thing we played three. So we have the one to work with. Um, what else did we prize here? Um, prize the Pokecom as well as a boss, um, a research, and six, um, seven, eight. Um, prize the fighting energy, and I think that's uh, all that I can think off the top of my head right now. So I'm gonna grab the Guru here. I'm gonna bench the Guru. Um, put the Marnie back on top. I think that's what we would want. Um, if our opponent decided to Marnie us themselves, so we're gonna do that here. Hey, <laughs> there's another Marnie. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass over to my opponent now. Um, uh, if they were to draw super well, I would want them to KO our Eldegoss instead of hitting our Colossal VMAX. So that's the reason I didn't decide to retreat. And definitely keeping this Guru around, super important right now, because I'm um, definitely a bit scared of... Uh, Definitely a bit scared because we did price two and we can't afford to get this one KO'd. Let's see, uh, and our opponent just goes with the Mad Party. They have a huge hand and they opted not to do anything with it. Um, I almost don't even want to Marnie them now, but I feel like they could be holding on to like some more Roxies or Pokemon. So I think Marnie here is always okay. I'm gonna commit to the Colossal V here and um, just go with the Marnie, I guess. Looking for a Colossal V Max and. Um, and a way to put the hey, hey there's a fighting energy we can put that on top that's great and um even if we didn't hit this um we could just one hit ko them with eruption shot because um we hit them for weakness and our base damage is 40 anyways um so that's pretty nice i guess um probably just go with the primate wisdom put the fighting energy back on top of the deck and there's a Dedene to work with for next turn. That's pretty good. Definitely don't want to Dedene now because, again, we prized a bunch of Orangaroo, so there is no reason to um, do so. Gonna bench this Colossal V, um, being that if our opponent hits this one super hard, um, we can go into this one next turn and the swing with that one. So I definitely do like the thought process behind that. Gonna go with the Eruption Shot here. Take a KO on our opponent on our opponent's Bunnel B. Let's see if they can uh, respond uh, well this turn. There's a Guru from the prize cards. Um, that's not surprising at all. We prize two. Um, let's uh, let's see if our opponent and there's a concession from our opponent. Um, yeah, if we get set up um, and our opponent doesn't, Colossal Vmax, super good. And then yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next game. All right, so hopping into our next one here against Brian Minsu two. Um, good luck to him or her. We're gonna call the coin flip here. Let's go with Tails. Um, Tails never fails, and hey, we do win. Gonna opt to go first. Um, again, I do think that's most optimal with this deck. And um, no basic Pokemon, that's fine. Nothing we can do to control that, to be honest. Um, so our opponent has the player cup two sleeves, so um, they're either a trader or um, they're a decent player. So let's uh, let's see what we're up against. Um, our opponent's taking their time, deciding if they want to bench something, I guess. Um, so hopefully um, our starting hand does not look too bad. Uh, we hope, preferably would have a Colossal V and an Energy to work with. Let's see what our starting hand looks like. Um, a Guru, hey, pretty good. Um, we do only take one Mulligan, that is great. Um, don't want to start Guru, don't really want to start this either, but going to start a Colossal V here. Um, hold off on benching this, see what we're up against. And um, yeah, go from there. So opponent's going to take a Mulligan here most likely. Um, yeah, definitely uh, interested. Um, something to note is that we don't play hammers in this deck, so if we are up against ADPZ, um, we just have to play to our best and uh, no relying on luck because uh, we don't play hammers. Hammers are a little bit inconsistent, to be honest. I don't really like 
playing hammers that much. Um, we do see the Jirachi, so this either me this probably means um, Baby Blounds or Santa Scorch. Um, both matchups are uh, are are okay, I would say. Our opponent needs a ton of energy if they're playing Blacephalon or Santa Scorch. To be honest, to KO our Colossal V Max, um, I think I'm a little bit more scared of the Santa Scorch of uh, V Match of uh, V Max matchup. To be quite honest. Um, I think I'm going to bench the Guru here, attach active, um, there's not a real reason to do a whole lot with this hand, I think I'm just going to Guru the Marnie back on top, and then pass over to our opponent, because um, starting hand's pretty good, no reason to play the, no real reason to play the Rotom Phone right now, we can definitely hold off on that until later, um, yeah, let's see what our opponent um, has going for them this turn, um, if our opponent doesn't do anything, hey, we win, um, there's a quick ball from our opponent, however, they get rid of fire energy, so there's the volcano. So it looks like we are up against that scent to scorch. All right, um, again, definitely a little bit more scared of this than Blacephalon, um, because I guess scent to scorch is a little bit more consistent than Blacephalon, in my opinion. Um, but let's see, uh, let's see how our opponent's first turn goes for them. They bench the Volk. Uh, let's see if they have a scent to scorch V to work with. That would probably be the most optimal thing. Oh, they have to welder to this. That's actually huge. Um, yeah, that's really good for us, um, that they don't welder to a Scent of Scorch V, they opt to welder too, I'm not too sure how I feel about that one. Um, I imagine our opponent knows that this thing's probably going to die the following turn, so, um, definitely interested in that decision. Our opponent's taking their time, maybe they whiffed the Scent of Scorch V, that would be super good for us. Um, again, they did play one quick ball, but they probably have three quick balls left and three comms, or no, four comms, assuming they didn't prize any, um, Let's see, let's see what our opponent's got going for them. Um, so far, their turn one's not too bad. There's the calm from our opponents. Um, I imagine they could probably go for like a Dedenne or something like that. Um, if they don't have a switching effect. But there's the Sense of Scorch V. Do they have the switch to work with? There's the net from our opponent. wonder why they were taking so much time just thinking about that play. Um, but yeah, attaching two here doesn't make that much sense to me because you could just water one and then attach here and you would have four energies instead of three to work with on the following turn. Um, so definitely a pretty interesting de decision from our opponent. They're going to evolve into the Colossal V Max now. And the question is, do I Marnie or do I play it safe and just uh, put this energy back on top? I do think we need to look for a little, a few more cards. Um, so I think I'm going to have to go with the Marnie here. And attach active, and I think I'm just gonna Marnie our opponent. Um, they gra they they didn't grab a Dedenne either, so maybe their hand's dead or something like that. And um, pretty solid hand to work with. Um, yeah, um, gonna attach air balloon here. I think uh, played a Rotom phone. Definitely want to see another colossal V this turn, um, so we can potentially swing with another V Max in this next turn if our opponent hits us hard with this one. Gonna play the Rotom phone here. Um, there's a quick ball. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the quick ball here. I'm gonna take the quick ball, not the Rotom phone. Uh, but I can't even play the quick ball, so that definitely sort of sucks. Um, dang. Um, maybe I should have just denied. Now that I think about it, but this is what it is. Just gonna go with the eruption shot here, and who knows? Maybe our opponent whiffs. Um, yeah, just gonna go with the eruption shot here. Um, actually, next turn we can even go in with the Galarian Surfetched V. Now that I think about it. Um. Hit this for 200, and then I'm pretty sure Sense Scorch V Max only has 320 HP. Um, or even if they have 330, we can um, hit with Surf V, hit for 200, and then go in with the Eruption Shot to finish it off. So that's actually pretty good. Um, not gonna lie. All right, our opponent goes with the Stellar Wish. Let's see if they can hit the turn to um, Sense Scorch V Max. I'm pretty sure they can't one hit KO this us this turn. Excuse me. Um, the maximum they can get is six energies onto this. So. That's approximately 280 damage, so that is not enough. Um, yeah, that's why it was good they didn't water to this, because had they watered to a Santa Scorch V and just uh, attached to the Volcano, they would have been able to one-hit KO this this turn, I'm pretty sure. There's the water from our opponent. Um, that's not surprising at all. Our opponent is down one switch, one scoop up net, um, which is good for us. Uh, they draw three here with the water. They attach the sixth energy. There's the Pokecom. Um, and yeah, even with the Heat Rain, they don't one-hit KO this, so that's really good. Um, what we do have to be wary about is that our opponent can go in with the Heat Rain to one-hit KO our Surf Edge V, which can definitely be a little bit scary. There's the switch into the Santa Scorch V Max, and um, they're going with the G Max uh, Santa Forno, or however you pronounce that. And um, yeah, our game plan here, definitely wanting, hey, there's a Colossal V Max, 
is to go in with the um, with the what do you call it the surfetched V um, this turn so and uh, preferably get out another colossal V because we don't want to attack with uh, the damage one we want to attack with the fresh one um, three switch left four switch left in the deck one air balloon so feeling pretty confident that we can hit a switch here um, probably just gonna grab a glaring surfetched V now the question is do I want to go with the research or the Dene? We have um, more outs to Pokemon than we do draw support, so I think I'm going to go with the research here to be honest. I'm going to grab the Galarian Surfetched V here, bench this, and go with the research. I think this makes the most sense to me, and um, see what we draw here. There's a switch that's really good, and hey, we drew into basically everything we need. That's super good. Um, definitely can't complain about good draws here. Going to attach to this. Um, some, our opponent can boss this up and KO it, but... Our opponent probably wants to KO this, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to switch into this now. Uh, move to three fighting energies. Nope, 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 not that one. All right, good thing I can cancel. Move three here um, to the Galarian Surf V. And um, yeah, I guess this is why this is pretty good, because now we can hit this for 200 um, and uh, finish it off with an Eruption Shot, which is really good. Um, yeah, I think I just go with the Primate Wisdom, put the, uh, what do I want to put back on top of the deck? What am I, um, I, well, yeah, I'm gonna put the boss back on top of the deck. The reason being, um, if our opponent, like, Marnies us or something like that, um, and they go in with the Heat Ran onto the Galarian Surfetch V, um, we want to be able to chase this and KO it, because our opponent's not even 3-hit KOing our, uh, Colossal VMAX, so... My thought process is that our opponent could theoretically G GX this, um, and then we want to boss this up, KO it, and then uh, Heat Rain GX isn't really a threat once the GX attack is out of the way, because they are only hitting 130 damage. Um, so I think I just go with the Meteor Smash here, and we're sort of chilling. Um, and then, yeah, see what, uh, see what our opponent um, can do this turn. Um, either they go in with the Heat Rain here, or they set up a new... Um, a new Scent Scourge of Max to work with, which can be sort of hard to get around, I'm not gonna lie. But they are down two Welder. Um, they do still have an Eldegoss to work with, but uh, maybe they can Wolf with Welder this turn and be a turn behind, which would be pretty cool. Um, if our opponent, uh, we don't want to go through two of these, that is pretty difficult, um, to be honest. Um, I, no, ideally, uh, KO this, KO this, KO this, that's six prize cards, that would be game. Um, hopefully we can draw well enough to accomplish that because going through uh, two 320 HP Synthesis Scorch V Maxes certainly doesn't feel ideal, and our opponent go is going to go with the Dede Change here. Um, that's good for us. This means they're bench locked unless they find something like a scoop up net. Oh my gosh, they with Welder? That's huge! All right, so now we uh, KO this, and uh, we're basically chilling. All right, that's uh, super good for us. Um, I can't complain at all. Gonna promote the Ranguru actually, because if we do with the VMAX, we can KO with this one, which would be really bad. Certainly not ideal at all, but um, if we have to KO with the damaged VMAX, uh, we will do so. And I think I have to. I do I want to bench the second Guru or no? Um, am I gonna go with the research or the Dedene? I think I'm gonna go with the Dedene here because I certainly want to get value out of it. It is our last Dedene, anyways. Um, so I do feel like that's sort of optimal to say the least. Do I want to do anything with this hand before I did the GX? Um, do I play the Rotom Phone or no? Um, if I want to save the boss, um, probably just save the boss here. Gonna use Primate Wisdom, put the boss back on top. And hey, alright, um, definitely a very good decision from us because we do hit that Pokecom. Can shuffle back in the Guru, or we can actually um, save the Dene and just go for the research. I think I like doing that a little bit better. I'm gonna grab a VMAX out and um, yep, go from there. We do have seven fighting energies left in the deck, which is really good. I'm gonna evolve this one, um, and uh, I I wish I could just sit here and use Rotom Phone, but I do want to get an attachment onto this uh, Colossal VMAX this turn, so probably gonna just. Bench this Guru, I think. Is there any reason we could theoretically um, Dedene, Crobat, Eldegoss? So maybe I just want to hold off on doing so. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the research here. Um, see what we draw. Yep, uh, that's great. Uh, going to attach this here. Um, what's not great is that we have three Pokecom in hand. Um, oh, 
We used Primate Wisdom already. I just misplayed. I should have benched the other Guru. Oh man. Uh, I think we have to go in blind here. Go with that Eruption Shot. It is not a Fighting Energy. I misplayed. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to get punished. I forgot. Oh no, I forgot I had to use Primate Wisdom. I should have benched the other Guru. And we didn't hit a Pokemon off of Pokecom. We're going to get absolutely punished here. Um, our opponent's going to one-hit KO us with this. And uh, yeah, we're going to lose this. Um, 200... Uh, yeah, um, we're going to take an L here, I think. Our opponent's going to KO our active, and then they just have to boss this up. Um, unless our opponent whips water this turn on this. Yeah, we just threw the game. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I made a misplay like that. Um, yeah, we would have been in such a good spot if we were able to KO this. We should have benched the other Guru. I don't know what I was thinking. I forgot I had the Primate Wisdom to hit the 130 damage. Um, but I'm going to keep this in the video. I um, think you guys can learn from my misplays. They're going to go with the G-Max uh, Centiferno here. They didn't water to this, so maybe we're still in this if our opponent was water. Um, but yeah, such a misplay on my part. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, but at least we can Marty our opponent to a 4-card hand, maybe. Uh, maybe that it can stop them from uh, charging up this one um, and getting a V-Max. But... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I made such a mistake like that. Um, that's a little unfortunate. Um, definitely my fault. We could have easily won this game. They didn't even hit a welder for this one. Um, yeah, we 100% would have won this game had we uh, benched the other Guru. But unfortunately, probably going to take an L here. Um, going to attach here. Go with the Marnie. See if we can even hit a Fighting Energy now. Um, yep, I'm, I'm getting absolutely punished. We don't even hit a Fighting Energy here. Off of the Marnie. Um, gonna quick ball away a switch. Um, go for a Crobat, I think. Feels fine with me. Um, yep, just gonna switch into this Guru. Burn as many cards as possible. Gonna bench this Guru. Um, play the Crobat. Uh, see five new cards. Um, no fighting energy so far. Gonna go with the Rotom Phone. Um, there's a fighting energy that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go in with that eruption shot here and then see if our opponent can wrap up this game um, and 100% punish us um, for misplaying like that. Um, yeah, just super, super bad play from me. Actually, we're only a boss away from winning the game. So if our opponent whiffs the water and VMAX this turn, we will be taking a dub here. Let's see if our opponent can get there. Um, man, I have no clue what I was thinking. I even forgot we KO'd the Volcanion. So we could have just KO'd and we had the Rotom Phone um, we could have hit boss that turn as well. I'm pretty sure there's the VMAX. Does our opponent have the welder to work with? They don't... Uh, let's see. Our, if our opponent wins this game, they 100% deserve it. I got 100% punished for my mistakes. And um, they welder for one? Um, there's the fire crystal. Do they have the switching effect to work with? If they do, it is what it is. I'll happily take an L here. Um, because I misplayed and I humbly deserve this loss. Um, but something to teach you guys is that um, we would have won this game had we not misplayed um, that hard. Um, and yeah, um, I would I, I take the L here. I'm not even upset that I lost because I misplayed that hard. And that's going to do it with the game for the Colossal VMAX. Got pretty close in the second one even though we misplayed. Um, I think I definitely showed off the power of Colossal VMAX. Had I not misplayed again, we definitely would have 100% won that game. And uh, yeah, definitely think the build is pretty good so far. And um, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. If you did, please remember to subscribe. Um, and as always, remember to stay safe and have a good day. And uh, peace out.